In the northeastern corner of Wyoming, there stands a remarkable geological feature known as the Devil's Tower. This immense monolith, rising dramatically from the rolling prairie surrounding the Black Hills, has long captured the imagination of those who see it. Its origins date back millions of years, to a time when the Earth's crust was restless with volcanic activity. In this video, we'll be looking at the Devil's Tower, a unique geological oddity that stands as a monumental testament to the Earth's volcanic past, revealing through its towering columns and striking structure the fascinating process of igneous intrusion and erosion that have sculpted our planet's landscape over millions of years. The story of Devil's Tower begins deep beneath the Earth's surface, where molten magma, seeking a path to surface, found its way into the softer sedimentary rock layers. This intrusion of magma, however, never breached the surface to become a volcano. Instead, it cooled and crystallized underground, forming a large, solid mass. Over millions of years, this igneous body, made primarily of phonolite porphyry, underwent a remarkable transformation. As the magma cooled, it contracted. This contraction created stresses, leading to the formation of a network of cracks. These cracks, through a process known as columnar jointing, shape the rock into a series of stunning, almost geometric columns. The majority of these columns are hexagonal, though some have four, five, or seven sides. Each column is a testament to the natural forces at work during the cooling process. The exposed face of Devil's Tower that we see today was still buried beneath the Earth's surface at this point. The surrounding softer sedimentary rock was steadily eroded away by the relentless forces of wind, water, and temperature fluctuations over the ages. This erosion uncovered the harder igneous core. The striking formation that emerged is what we now know as Devil's Tower. The tower itself is a testament to the durability of its materials. While the surrounding landscape continued to erode, the tower remained resilient, its columns standing tall against the elements. These columns give Devil's Tower its unique and striking appearance, drawing the eye with their symmetry and the way they catch the light at different times of the day. Despite its apparent permanence, Devil's Tower is still subject to the forces of nature. The columns, while durable, are not immune to erosion and weathering. Over time, some columns have broken off and fallen, a reminder that this landscape is still evolving. The fallen boulders and debris at the base of the tower attest to this ongoing process. Thus, Devil's Tower stands as a magnificent natural sculpture, shaped by the forces of geology over millions of years. Its formation tells a story of magma and metamorphosis, of erosion and endurance, a vivid chapter in the Earth's ever-changing geological history. Thanks for watching. Deep beneath the ancient landscapes of Central Australia, over a billion years ago, the first chapters of a remarkable geological story began. This narrative unfolds with the formation of the Devil's Marbles, known to the local Aboriginal people as Kalu Kalu. These intriguing granite boulders stand amidst the arid desert. Their story is one of fiery origins, immense pressures, and the gradual but relentless force of nature that sculpt and shaped the earth. In this exploration, we'll trace the journey of the Devil's Marbles from their origins deep within the Earth's crust to their present-day status as iconic natural landmarks. We will delve into the complex geological processes that gave rise to their unique spherical shapes and examine how they evolved over the course of millions of years. Around 1.7 billion years ago during the Proterozoic Era, the story of the Devil's Marbles or Kalu Kalu began. Deep beneath the Earth's surface lay an ancient churning magma chamber. This magma chamber would never see the surface though, and rather than erupting, it eventually cooled and solidified deep within the earth, leading to the formation of granite. This granite was to be the raw material for the spectacular boulders we see today. For hundreds of millions of years, this granite lay buried, undergoing changes under the immense pressures and temperatures of the earth's interior. The earth's crust, not static but dynamic, was continually reshaped by the forces of plate tectonics. The granite was part of this grand geological dance, though it remained hidden from view. Fast forward to around 300 million years ago, during the Paleozoic Era, when significant changes occurred. The region that would one day become Central Australia experienced a considerable geological upheaval. The Earth's crust folded and faltered, and the deeply buried granite was gradually forced upwards. This uplift brought the granite closer to the surface, setting the stage for the next phase of its transformation. Over the coming millions of years, the overlying rock, primarily sandstone, began to erode away. This erosion was the work of wind, water, and the simple passage of time. As the sandstone eroded, the harder granite beneath it started to be exposed. But exposure was just the beginning of the formation of the Devil's Marbles. This newly exposed granite, now at or near the surface, underwent a process called exfoliation. This is a form of physical weathering where the rock peels off in layers or sheets. Think of it like an onion shedding its layers. 
In the case of the Devil's Marbles, this process was driven by the temperature fluctuations of the desert environment, where the scorching days and chilly nights caused the rock to expand and contract, creating cracks and facilitating the peeling of layers. As the millennia passed, these granite blocks continued to weather. Chemical weathering played a role here too, as minerals in the granite reacted with water in the environment. This reaction caused some minerals to dissolve and others to expand, aiding in the gradual rounding of the blocks. The distinct spherical shape of the Devil's Marbles that we see today is a result of these combined processes of physical and chemical weathering. The edges and corners of the boulders were weathered away more rapidly than the flat surfaces, leading to rounded boulders. In recent times, the Devil's Marbles have become an iconic natural landmark. They are not only a geological wonder, but also a site of great cultural and spiritual significance to the local indigenous peoples. The site tells a story that spans over a billion years, from the fiery depths of the Earth's interior to the harsh desert environment of today. It's a story of endurance, change, and the exonerable forces of nature that shape our world. Thanks for watching.